Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome to the Cards TV Count Your Blessings Blog Hop. The awesome design team members on the Cards TV card design team have come up with some fantastic cards for you today for this blog hop. And they've all used the Count Your Blessings stamp set. So we're going to take a look at what I've done today and then I want you to be sure and go by each one of their blogs. We've got blog candy and lots of fun and lots of inspiration for you. So don't miss anybody because you might miss out on some blog candy and a chance to see some awesome cards that will be perfect for Easter and all kinds of occasions using this stamp set. Now what I've done today is made a card, or I'm going to make a card, using the Art Philosophy cartridge. I love this cartridge. It's got so many great cuts in it, and I seem to reach for this one a lot. And of course, I'm using the Count Your Blessing stamp set, and the sentiment I chose is, May You Be Blessed. And I think this card would be good for Easter, or a sympathy card, a thank you card, a get well card, just lots of different occasions. So let me get this out of the way and I'll show you what we're going to do to make this card. Now this card is really, really simple. It's two colors, white and green, and then I'm going to have just a tiny little bit of pale yellow. But I've got lots of layers here. Our card base is four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is a landscape style card. I've got a green mat, which is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, a white mat, which is three and three quarters by five, and I ran this mat and then this uh, white mat with the oval cut out through the Cuddlebug textile embossing folder, and I think it gives just a really, really elegant look. But this white mat, as I said, is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to layer that on top of that green mat and you see just a little bit of the green. Then I've got another green mat which is going under this white mat and this one is three and three eighths by four and five eighths and then this white mat with the oval is three and a quarter by four and a half. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put some uh, foam tape on this top white mat and then I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of the green and both of these will be popped up. And the way I cut this oval, I used my Spellbinders and my Big Shot and this is the Classic Ovals Large and I used not the largest one but the next one down to cut that oval but if you have a punch, an oval punch, you could do that. You could use your Silhouette to cut out an oval and then just cut it down to fit. Same way with the Cricut, you could cut an oval and then just cut around it to get it the three and a quarter by four and a half. But I'm going to go ahead get this layered on and before I layer this white layer on, I'm going to take that oval that I cut out of the middle and go ahead and glue that down and then I'm going to put this white layer on the foam tape so that this will be raised up just like that. So let me get this all adhered down and then we'll come back and I'll show you what else we're going to do. This card is practically finished. It's super simple but I think it's going to be very elegant and very pretty for Easter. Okay, I've got these layers adhered and I laid this on top of this green mat and then stuck down that oval that I had already embossed and cut out and now this is on one thickness of foam tape and I'm going to put this right over it. Let me get it the right way so it follows the pattern. This is going to give it just a little bit more dimension. There we go. And can you see that? You can tell that oval has been cut out. Now I'm going to put this on some foam tape and this is going to go right here on the front of my card. Next for my sentiment, which is going right here in the center, I went to the Art Philosophy cartridge and on page 26 I cut shape number one at one inch out of white cardstock 
and here it is. I've got this on one thickness of foam tape, and I used Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I stamped May You Be Blessed from the Cards TV Count Your Blessings set. I'm going to put that right there in the center. And then I went back to the Art Philosophy cartridge, and I wanted to have a flower and something green. So on page 43, I found a branch right here. So I cut two of these out of a lighter green, and there they are. And I cut one on regular and one on flip. And I cut these at an inch and a half. And I'm going to just adhere these right here, just like that. And then I wanted to have like a pretty little pale yellow flower. So I went to page 68 in the Art Philosophy cartridge. And this has got lots of flowers that you can roll. So I chose this one. And... I cut this at two inches, and this is on the same page with banner one. And this one, I think, looks like a rose when it's all rolled up. So I found some pale yellow cardstock and cut that out. And I used this little quilling tool. It's got a tiny little um, opening right there that you can put the end of the cardstock in and then just start rolling your flower up and then when it gets bigger you just slide it off of that and finish but I made this tiny little yellow rose and I put a yellow pearl in the center and I'm going to take that and put that right there and I think that just makes the most elegant card now I'm going to get all this adhered down and we'll come back and take a look at it. Here's my super simple but I think very elegant card using the Cards TV Count Your Blessings stamp set as well as the Art Philosophy cartridge. Very simple to make but you can use this for so many different occasions. Now guys don't forget there's some blog candy in this hop and lots of inspiration so make sure you leave a comment at each blog that you go to. Thank you so much for hopping with us today. I'll see you again soon with another card. Bye now.